I want to turn this back to the big cat, Fez Watley. This weekend, you don't know whether or not you're going to be on a float in the parade. No, I, I just found, I got an email saying I'm going to go meet with some people this afternoon and with uh, pride preparations and hopefully find out if I'm going to be on a float. So this weekend, which would just be the most thrilling thing ever. I know for a fact I can get you on a float. Uh huh. It might not be the float that you want, though. What's yours? Salute to AIDS bandages. Take so it. I don't. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Please. I guess any float in a storm, but that's probably down on the list of the primo floats to be on. When you get into that probably thing, you find yourself in the middle. Go out to an extreme. Uh, Hicks, would you want to be in this parade with Fess? No, I don't want to go to the parade. It means a lot to him. What if I, I think, here's the thing that we don't understand. Yeah. This means more to Fez than we even know. And I remember when he came out three months ago, yeah. he was saying to me, this year I'm going to be on the float. I won't be watching the parade. I'm going to be on the float. And he was so excited. Thinking wow. that he was going to be like a, like beloved in the gay community. Yeah. In three months, about 100 days, he hasn't made a single gay friend. Forget dating. Not a single gay friend. The guy who stood him up last week yeah. that was supposed to have lunch with him, I just saw him in the hall. Oh. And so he's around and stuff, but he hasn't. Just dodging? He, he hasn't yeah. even said hello to me. Well, he said hi to me. By the way, buddy. And he's like this. Hi. You know. Huh. It really is. Uh -huh. I don't know if he did that though. <laughs> that's what they. That's what they all do. But the Pride March that comes around every June, it is it. It's By one way, of my I, favorite. I don't, I don't think it's a march. I I think it's a dance or a walk or a skip. But a march is mm -hmm. a. It's got to be a certain very thing. Yeah, very rigid. It's yeah. a lot of floats and flowers and balloons and streamers, but it's still considered a march. Because it marks the uh, the march uh, uh, at Stonewall, at the Stonewall Inn. They didn't march. They threw stuff at cops. Yeah, but then there was actually a march after that. It went buck wild. Where they were tired of the cops going into the Stonewall Inn and just busting heads on gay people for no reason. Other than the fact that they were gay. So it's, it is my favorite absolute favorite time of the year now i know i'm still not on a float hopefully that comes through but it just feels like it's very exciting and it feels like kind of a sense of renewal where it's almost like gay new year and you see so many it's such a happy occasion and it just feels like anything is possible again in the gay community. It, it's going to have part of the gay community. N no, I haven't gotten myself. Uh, no, I don't even have a gay friend. Mm. So I think it takes at least two to start being community wise. But I'm going to I'm going to go down there tonight. I'm going to meet these people and just try to bum rush myself onto a float. Even and how will your life change if you're on a float, Fuzzy? I mean, I certainly want you to get on a float, but we can't get it across why, why this is important to you. Because that's going to feel like, that, you know, step one is in. Uh, you know what I mean? Where it's, everyone's complained about... A float about, is step one? He's really? finally yes. getting that out I, there. He's, you know... That I'm Go with ahead, other you speak, gay people. I didn't want to speak over No, I want you to speak for him. He's getting, he's finally out there. He's proud of himself. He wants to literally showcase it. I think it would be a beautiful experience. See, she gets wow. it, Fez. Mm -hmm. nice. Let her call for you. For some reason, I don't think that they're understanding that about you. You could have been sending these people your press clippings from the Daily News when you came out, <laughs> and gay voices, or whatever those other sites oh. that covered you. Hot gay list. Hot gay list. I haven't made it on that site yet. So this is what you want to do. You want to showcase. Yes, I want to. See, let proud. her write it up. She's proud. You're proud. Let her write it up for you, Fez. And that, I don't think people were getting that. And that's what it's all about. It's about the pride. And you see so many mothers and fathers out there mm. who are proud of their children. P-flags. And it must be nice to be out there in the light and you don't have to hide anymore or feel ashamed of who you are. That's, that's what it's all about. I that's what see that. Is all about. Now I'm getting Everybody it. Everybody just cuts now loose I'm... out there. 
they call it a closet because it's dark and lonely. Oh, what? You know what, Anna? You are opening us up to your community (laughs) in a way I never did before. Uh, JF, you're on Run Fez. Hey, so with gay New Year's, at midnight, does two balls drop? That's a good joke, actually. It's pretty good. (laughs) Anyway, the point that Anna's making is Fez wants this to be out in the light, out of his closet and into the streets. I think we get it a little bit now, Fez. And the unity, all those people coming together. I didn't even think of that. Just making him feel like he's part of something. It's the one day a year where you feel like you can be part of the entire Mm -hmm. gay population, where you kind of have this connection of what other people went through when they came out and just the connection there. Now, the next weekend... Things will go back to the same, and the clicks will be there, and the pretty boys will be standing in one area of the bar Whoa. that they don't want you to go to. <sighs> what will they say to you if you try what, to go what over? What happens with that? Oh, you what just kind of get looks. You get looks like, you know, we're over here by the pool tables. So right? gay people are awful. <laughs> they're not. Uh, there's no reason for us to be nice to them since they're not nice to each other. Yeah, hey. Did you see that PSA up about being ashamed of your white skin on the eye bang? Boy, did that piss some people off. Come on. Um, it was basically about people taking some responsibility for being white. Everyone else gets to feel good about their ethnic background. Here, listen to this. Okay. What do you mean we're lucky to be white? It's not luck. It's privilege. We're privileged that people see us, not a color. Privilege that we don't get stared at when we walk into the room. Privilege that we don't get followed by security when we go shopping. Or pulled over when we're in the wrong neighborhood. We're privileged because society was set up for us. And our silence keeps it in place. We're privileged. And that's unfair. Fuck. (laughs) What about rednecks? No one's happy to see them come into us. No, they're really disturbed by it. They'll get a look. I've been followed in a store. Um... What's that? I've been followed. Everybody's well, been you're followed Italian, in the store. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, you're same right. Thing. I should Italian be and, and Irish. So, well, you know what they say: no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. Is what they that used <laughs> to be the signs. <sighs> um. By the way, let me just tell you, a PSA that just pisses off the people that it's supposed to. <laughs> Is what a PSA seems to be. I never see any of these PSAs working. Yeah, wow, I saw that. It totally changed my mind. <laughs> Some of the people that who are in the It Gets Better bully stuff have been getting hit and slapped and Ooh. punched by people. They get fucked with. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go over here to Sam. Sam, you're on my face. Well, I don't understand what all the pride is about. Because I, it, it's not really a choice about whether you're gay or not. So... Well, what's there to be proud about? I don't. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe Fez can can, can it's explain. It's being proud in who you are, and it, and the fact that this is who this is the person you are, and you're going to be out there as honestly as you can. All right, let's do this. Everybody on a secret ballot, write down their favorite gay person of all time. All time. Okay. Yeah, and let's see how many men. I need a pen. I don't have my uh, little pen box anymore. I used to get pens. All right, we'll see who matches who here. I think I've got a good one. Um, maybe I, like if you don't get in the parade, Fez, I'll have a nice gay supper for you at my house, That's where nice. we'll just serve gay foods. That sounds wonderful. Any more cock? Mm, Past the jism. <laughs> That's gravy, but help yourself. <laughs> All right, Fez, since you are, are what I consider on the Ron and Fez gay float today, you are the queen. Who's your favorite gay person all time? Favorite gay person all time, Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn. All right. I have Da Vinci, so <laughs> <laughs> you can see where Fez and I are kind of different <laughs> or what we think gay people do what do you have i had jane lynch I jane lynch wow. i went with a lesbian nice and um hicks i, I think this person was bi. i'm pretty sure they were gay <laughs> william s burroughs he was gay right yeah he was gay but yeah. he also was with chicks yeah he, so he, he yeah. yeah he killed that wife of his All right, i'm gonna give myself <laughs> number one 
Ben Hicks, number oh, two, since you. author. Now I have to <laughs> pick between the center sl- square and the girl from Glee. And because of the Christopher Guest films, I'm going to put Jay Lynch, Bronze. Way to go. Nice. That well, was he, how I became a fan of hers, was from those films. Not from Glee. I don't, oh, I don't nice. like Glee. I love okay. the Christopher Guest. The, 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 well, then you're going to be very excited on Wednesday. Yes, I am. It's going to be... A terrific unmasked. Hell yeah, I'm very Levy's excited. gonna be awesome. Eugene Levy. <laughs> um, let's go over to Trevor. Trevor, you're on my face. Hey, Ronnie. I was just wondering. I mean, it seems to me like this boat that Fez focusing on getting on a float is just something to distract him from. He hasn't made any real personal steps or taken any like personal responsibility towards getting out in the gay community. It seems like he feels like he's going to get on a float and, hey, everything will be He great. does do some magical uh, thinking, but I can understand that he wants to be on a float. You know what When it, what you said that made me really understand that? What's that? It's when Anna told us that you wanted to go out of the closet and into the light. And, and then I'm like, okay, I get it. Everything's clear. For how long it takes for him to find a gay friend or to find someone to date... Think about it. When you're, if you're a heterosexual, you don't start dating immediately. You you get to a certain age. You develop taste. You develop standards. You can't. He just came out of the closet three months ago. You can't expect him to run out and have a boyfriend already. And be, he's got to ease into the community a little bit, just like people go around dating or, or becoming aware of their sexuality as, as heterosexuals do. Yeah, but the, see, here's why it's hard for us to understand. We all did that 13, 14 years old. That's when you're right. like, look. Yeah. I'm glad that you're my girlfriend, but if we don't start Frenching, forget this. <laughs> I didn't have my first boyfriend until a year ago. What? Yeah. Sometimes it just takes people this, a little longer to... This is your first... For whatever reason... You know what, boyfriend? Yes, for Whoa. whatever what reason base? you become... Huh? Whoa. This what is base? your first sliding in the home, boyfriend? Oh, oh my, my goodness. Um, yes. But for, oh for some... Oh, my God. Okay. This is what I'm going to say. Unbelievable. You have to become comfortable with yourself before you can become comfortable with someone else. If Fez doesn't feel comfortable with himself yet, and why should he? He just found, you know, came to this but here's huge my thing. revelation about himself. Hey, you know, I like to feel uncomfortable with myself, and then have uh, women feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and then make somebody else when they're yeah. yeah, and then yeah. put no, that I know. discomfort on them. Like, look what you've done to me mm-hmm. through your lack of support. Happy now? Yeah. <laughs> um. Jim, you're on the Run of Fez show. Just spray paint eat me on a t-shirt. Just uh, the wall. radio oh, show. Ride the bike suck. and uh, take mm-hmm. some toilet paper to it and crash the bird. All right. How about that? See, <laughs> that's just awful. This was, see, this was supposed to be Fez's time. And once again, it falls into shite. <laughs> it's just a, a spoonful of shite. I feel sad. Well, what is wrong with marching in the parade, Fez? Marching is good, but my heart is set on a float. I think a float is the centerpiece. That's, you can't be any more into the gay community than on a float in the New York City Gay Pride March. You're out. I don't know whether you should leave that as a defining moment, though. Because I see all these other... It's just one. I know, but all the Alq guys, they don't even think they show up at the parade. They don't seem to even care about it. You would think in Alq, if, if it was a big gay deal, Alq would want to be there. You would think they would have their own float. We, You know what we should have done is just set up a table along the thing and broadcast it. And just sat there and talked about it all day. Hell, oh. You know, we could have called the parade. Like, hey, listen, guys. <laughs> oh, look who's coming by. It's a box of cocks. <laughs> and right after that... Those dudes just get out and shake fucking nuts all day. <laughs> These guys are dressed like Vikings. And then followed yeah. by Senator Chuck Schumer. He's gay? <laughs> no, he's not gay, but he's always then at the Pride March. I'd be booing him like, you're not gay. <laughs> so we have one day, we don't have to look at Chuck Imposter. Schumer. Imposter. Fucking hetero, beat it. <laughs> Instead of Chuck uh, Schumer, we want to see suck Jews more. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Here's Brian. Brian, you're on the fest. Hey, what's going on, guys? 
Yeah. Hey, Ronnie, I'm thinking this parade could be the thing that kicks off, you know, Fez's gay, gay, you know, really kicks off Fez's gay lifestyle. But my question to you is, do you think he's going to do it? Do you think he's going to pull it off and get on a float? I, you know, I, I never saw it as a big deal. I would have thought, hey, I thought I'm a that... big radio personality. I'll call the bars that have floats and tell them, hey, why don't you come in and tell us about the float and I'll go with you. I would have this thing hooked up forever ago. I, I just don't. I, I put this with such a small deal the same way that he got turned away at a comedy club when he's a producer of Unmasked. Is he. See, this is what I try, I try to pair out. There's some little toy trucks that hit things, bounce, and keep going, and other toy trucks that just hit things and then spin their wheels. I think this is a spinning wheel deal. And I'll just sing this. Yeah. This is a gay song. Spinning wheel, can't go on floats. Take the gay stuff down. I don't want to see it's off, it's off, it's off. gay erections. That was a cartoon. I don't care. Oh, it was? Yeah, I wouldn't put it. I oh, wouldn't thank do, God. Now I feel yeah, better about myself. Yeah, I wouldn't put up. Because that was splash. seven and a half feet long. <laughs> I saw that, too. That was a little. Yeah. That was too much. That's, I, I think this is going to be the, the thing for you. I think this is going to be it. Um, Cole, you're on a Fez. Uh, yeah, Fez just ran a uh, segue and decorate that right at the parade. Then doesn't have to get Floyd approval from anyone. Well, you just get in a wheelchair, Fez, and just have handicapped but on the inside and you just have a, a, a thing that points at your brain <laughs> here's Fez that game looks like Fez <laughs> now Fez you're not wearing your shirt right right but are you gonna wear a vest Oh, that's a good idea. No, I'm only kidding. That's 70s. I always want to see if he goes back to the 70s. Always. And he does. Alright, let's go over to uh, Cody on the Run of Fez show. Hey, what's up, Ron Fez, big fan. Uh, I got a question for Fez. Yeah. My my brother is gay and uh, <laughs> No, straight up. No. Go ahead. My brother's gay and was <laughs> <laughs> And he like he I was like he was looking for a job. He said, Well, why don't you play at the local gay bar? You know, and he was like, Well, I don't want to work with a bunch of those fags. So my question is, why would someone like why would a gay person be like that? Because like the way he acted was like William Defoe from Boondock Saints. He was just like a lot of gay, a lot of gay guys are anti-gay, right, Fess? It happens, yes, and with so they are like us. And, and wow. they're anti-gay. And mm. in the gay bar, in it's the gay right. bars, the gay, the gay bartenders, yeah. they are the princes of the gay community. They're good looking. They wear, they work shirtless. They're given all kind. They make all kinds of money. Oh, you they're know what? They're just can. I mean, let they're... me let, let me explain to you. Because in the straight community, it's not that different. Where the bartenders bring us drinks when we ask for them. So it's not that different at all. <laughs> this is a strange world you speak of. <laughs> <laughs> Gay bartenders are idolized. Mm. Um, Steve Westbury, you're on Fez. Hey, how you doing? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm a long time listener, but I lost my serious XM for a long time and I just got it back. I can't believe Fez is gay. I'm yeah. in shock. I never would have guessed. Get used to it. I, I, I can't believe it. I'm in shock. And by the way, who's the other guy that just agrees with everything you say, Ron? Uh, that is Chris Stanley. I'm not Chris Stanley. He's a centaur. I'm a an human. Agreeable and fucking centaur. Fuck that I'm shit. I'm not you... fucking agreeable at all. This guy's a fucking gun guard. I'll be losing your fucking so shit again. He's feeling. That's it. Just let it sink in. That's it. That's it. Relax, buddy. It's music. Pretty good song. Music soothes the savage beast. I'm not a beast. Savage beast. That guy was a cunt too. 
<clears throat> they're not nice to you in the gay bars? No, everyone's a very standoffish. They all have their friends. Yeah. They're, they're gay groups that come in together. Mm. But that's very, it feels to me, very impenetrable. <laughs> well, like, I'll, I'll show people how it is. Like, this is a gay bar. Me and Chris will be two gay people. And <laughs> then Fez, and you know, do you come in and try to be friends with us? Hey. Hey, did you see Glee last night? It was great. They fucked up some bullies on there. I know. I hate bullies. They're dicks. Can you know, I've the, never what? seen Glee before. What? Who's she? She's old and fat. Ugh, disgusting. God, what's with that beard? Oh. You would actually just come up and just not even introduce yourself? Just try to get into somebody's conversation? Yes. That's yeah. weird, dude. Yeah, I've That's, done it before. Don't, oh, man. Shit. <laughs> don't do that ever. That's you still. I mean, I realize that people, you know, it's like a gay thing, but you still have to have some kind of social thing to it. Just introduce yourself. I'm gonna try it again, okay? Okay. Lady Gaga is great, isn't she? It's like I'm a little monster, and I mm. just love going to all the shows. And then I, I, oh my god, I blew a guy in the bathroom at one of them. He was great. She was a very big proponent of getting rid of Don't Ask, Don't what? Tell. What happened? You were supposed to introduce yourself. Who's this? How did you forget that? <laughs> that was your whole point of this? <laughs> but, yes. You were supposed to introduce yourself so you wouldn't be the stalky guy who just came in the middle of conversations. Um, let's go over here to uh, Mike. Mike, you're on the Run Fez show. Hey, hey Fez, how you doing? Listen, I have a great float idea for you. Um, you want to float a bar in front of you, and you uh, handing out mud slides. Hi guys, bye. That's quick. <sighs> oh, boy. Uh, Easy Rider, you're on the Run Fed show. Easy Rider. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, Fezzy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, why don't you go on one of those gay cruises? My boss is gay and uh he went on one last year and he hooked up with a virgin just like you are and he came back and told me he had the best time he's ever had and he's been going on these cruises for like 10 years you want to go on a tom cruise and just spread your ass and straddle that i guess just fucking jump on it um you know what you want to do fez is just fucking get a wheelbarrow right uh -huh. Put a bunch of bricks on it and just fucking walk down the street with that and just put like gay construction workers. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to think, they're not going to think anyone trying to sneak in their fucking brain is going to fucking have a wheelbarrow full of bricks. Will you do it? I will do that. Yes. Now, are you saying yes and then you're not going to do it? Because I'm going to be looking for a wheelbarrow full of bricks. If I don't get on the float, I will go with the wheelbarrow construction village people look. I got to have it one way or another, though. I gotta have a definitive answer before we move on. This we're always getting this thing if or maybe. I just want definitive stuff to happen. I was looking forward to gay construction worker. Well, X, yes. why don't you bring your fucking magic sword and just uh, let All him right. walk along with you? I don't have a magic sword. Oh god. I don't have even a This will be sword. perfect. Yeah. Just the fucking thing that says Game of Thrones. And it goes oh, down okay. and everyone just cheers. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> There we was, love you. There was a gay character. There is a gay character in Game of Thrones. Um, Scott Cleveland, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Fezzy, now that you're out of the closet, and, uh, now when it comes to the social scene and you're introducing yourself, are you Fez or are you Todd? I always introduce myself as Fez. You know what? You should go Todd. Unless you're going to wear a Fez. Here, like, just try to try it both ways. Um... Like me and Hex are talking, come over and introduce yourself. You got that, Fez? Uh huh. Who hears me? I Raise do. Raise your hand. Woo! -hoo. But in, like a regular person. All right, right? Yeah. Game of Thrones is so gay. I like the gay midget and the gay dragons. When they're fucking each other is the best part because yeah. then I can jerk off to that. Hi, guys. I'm Fez. What? What are you, a hat? Come on. You're not an accessory. You're a person, aren't you? All right. Try it again. It's Todd, though. Okay. Game of Thrones is so gay. And <laughs> I was watching so it on HBO. Go. 
So is Jack White and that, Hicks' no, girlfriend. No. It's really no so I, I have to just start. To, have to, no, that's Hi not guys. gay at all. I'm what? Todd. Uh, huh? Oh, I think I know you. Do you work in Sirius? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine always cancels brunches with you. He says you smell. Oh, he talks oh, about no. this one all the time. It's too small of a world. He says you smell like old man shit, so. <laughs> oh, this is shit pants? Oh, by the way, Todd, would you like to join our um, float? Yes, I would. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put you on it and float you out to sea like Rudolph that time. <laughs> Remember in that Christmas special when Rudolph was floating out to sail on that iceberg? Poor bastard. That's going to be you. I didn't watch the end of it, though, because the Jonas Brothers run another channel, and I was in a jack break. Don't you just love Jack and underage twinks? You want to jack with us, Toddy? You want to get in this circle jerk Come action? On. Sure, Come I'll on. jack with you guys. Yeah. Did you really say that? Sure, I'll jack with you guys? <laughs> if that's how it was presented to me, I think there's, that's the only possible response. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Jump on this jack wagon, Todd. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's fucked up. So what's your name again? My name's Todd. Your voice sounds familiar, though. Why is that? Oh, maybe you've heard it on the radio. I'm on oh. Sirius XM. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm a big fan of live reads. Don't you do the live reads? Yes, I do. I love products. I love when they sound exactly the same and no one gets mad down the hall. That's fucking great. I'm glad sometimes they get mad at the people who try to do something interesting other than just fucking repeat line after line. So what? They brought up rape during a live read. Now they can't ever do another one? Fuck that place. I find rape kind of hot. Yes, because we're gay. Ass rape, of course. Not <laughs> vaginal rape. <laughs> All right, we do got a break here. Um... You got to give away the prize when we come back. Yes. Says yeah. Three o'clock. Anna, thank you for coming. Thank you. For you know what? Me. Can I just say this? You opened Please. my eyes today. Tell, I was I not seeing the big deal about this. Oh. Fez is out of the closet and into the light. I hope he gets to do it. Fez, here's what I want to do. I want to go there and take pictures of you in the parade. Uh huh. When you get on the float, but better yet, take pictures of yourself and then I'll stay home. No, if you're on the float, I swear I will come. Okay. And take a couple pictures. That'd be great. I will just be screaming your name when I see you. Don't. <laughs> just act like you Ronnie! don't know me. Yeah, I'll be the guy with the wig, fake Jewish beard. <laughs> just yell hi me at me, and I'll wave back from there. What's that rabbi doing at the game parade? <laughs> it's my secret identity. Hex, would you go see him if he was there? If I'm on a float, you yeah. gotta come out. It's it's nine a.m. on a Sunday morning. Oh, guys, I know you won't be I'll, sleeping. <laughs> I'll see. I'll I'll probably still be up, about to crash. <laughs> like oh shit, this shit's about to start. I'm fucked up right now. There's a keg on the float. If you want to be there. Oh wow. I don't, know if, I don't even know that will get me on a float in the gate. Break. Uh, Fez, we come back. You're giving away the prize, and we got to announce three o'clock snack today. Right back Excited. Uh, with your phone calls. It's the Ron and Fez show. Uh, do you want an open casket, Hicks? Yeah, sure. Why not? I want to. I want to bury you with a magic sword in your hand. <laughs> Just taking it straight up. No, I don't think there's such a thing as magic swords. Like a rock, <laughs> he's got a magic sword. I got an idea. We do a float. We call it Gay of Thrones. And Fez, <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Game of Thrones isn't gay. And here's what, when it comes by, Fez, mm -hmm. I want you waving from the side. Oh, I wanted to be on it. Oh, you can you can march in the parade. I like when you whine, Fezzy, because it makes people go, I want Fez to get what he wants. Mm -hmm. It makes them relate to you. Because you could be like the whiny old aunt that they had that passed away. Now, Fez Watley... We are going to get to his piece a little later on. A lot of people have been writing to me. How did Fez's weekend go? Yeah, I want to know. Let's push back on getting the gay out of the way. Because for once, people want to hear the gay from Fez. Did he get on a float? Did he march? Uh, 
You're going to find all that out. I was getting messages from Chris Stanley last night. What happened? What happened? Whoa. I said, yeah, I, I was I said curious. You wait. Look who's interested in gay talk now on the weekend. <laughs> Chris Stanley. Oh, I know. Well, you could have found, you could have won over. No, I, I, I got drunk on Saturday night, ate some old yogurt that apparently had gone bad. Oh, and was shitting and vomiting. All right. I woke up around 4.30 in the morning on Sunday just start shitting and vomiting. I don't even want to fucking hear this. I finally passed out around noon, dehydrated. <laughs> it was really a bad choice. Nothing is Lucky? more important in these days than, than hydration. No. They tell you constantly, stay hydrated. Yeah. Not dehydrated. Mm -mm. But when you're shitting and vomiting for a long time, it doesn't help. You think, couldn't you just say I was sick <laughs> and left it at that? It was the same time. That's what I'm saying. Well, no, let's move on. Fez Watley, we haven't had an opportunity to talk to you yet, and I sure as hell don't want to jump the gun on it because it's a big story, and we would not let you tell what happened. I'm going to just uh, go backwards for people here. Fez had decided that nothing was more important to him than being part of a float in gay pride parade. Okay. For some reason, I didn't see what would be a big deal about it. Hicks didn't see what would be a big deal about it. But our young intern, Staten Island Anna, came in and explained to us that Fez was going from the closet to the sunlight. And he wanted to be seen by people. He wanted to be saying, look at me. I'm here in the sunlight and I'm ready to be seen. Everyone look at me. So, uh, Fez, no one here, LQ would not help you out. No. Nope. No one here in the building. We put uh, Rob on it a long time ago. Nothing. Rob came up with butt kiss. Uh, we put it out there, and we had some of our listeners attempting to help you get on a float. Yeah, we had uh, special thanks to Jeff, who emailed in and was trying to help me with a float. Vin, who tried to get me on a float. Uh, there was Tony and uh, Jonathan and Tom and Peter, who... That many people? Yeah, yeah, they were all working to help me be part of the Gay Pride Parade, the Gay March in New York City. So some things were happening, but I wasn't getting a float. I, I was, you know, invited to march with a group of people, so that wasn't working out. Well, what people invite you to march? Uh, the Gay Men's Chorus in New oh, York City. Nice. What if you would have to sing with them and they could have heard your tone <laughs> deafness? I wouldn't have even been able to walk in step with them. So, uh, get in your story, Fez. So, I went down there, I got, uh, thanks to Tish, I got a media pass, so I went to the staging area mm -hmm. and started looking around at the floats down there as they were all set up off of Fifth Avenue to take off. And I just started asking around because I wanted to be on a float in the Gay Pride Parade. And I got on a float, I got on the Coca-Cola Vitamin Water float. Oh, wow. shit! It what was so fuck? cool. Damn. And I think it was one of the better looking floats out there. Uh, I went and met Fez at the staging area. And nice. uh, he was so incredibly excited. And then this was the weird thing about your float. You had all of you guys on the float. But then there was a like a lifeguard ch chair on there. And then you had the extra special good looking dude. Right, yeah. Our float had kind of a beach theme to it. Oh, because uh, of the vitamin water. Yeah, and in fact, I brought in the brand new Cocoa Refresh mm. oh. vitamin water, the new coconut pineapple flavored vitamin water for everybody. Oh, well, delicious. I don't I won't be trying this for the first time because I was drinking I've been a vitamin water guy for a while. Love vitamin water. But I hadn't had like this is like coconut. Yeah, coconut pineapple. It's like a pina colada. Well, it also, for some reason, I don't know what it has to do, but when you're in the heat, we figure this out. It makes you feel better because it's the electric lights or whatever. Mm. But the coconut is phenomenal. And this is what Fez was helping. Uh, and I guess gay people like to hydrate. Oh, yeah. It, that was the theme of our float for vitamin water. It was hydrate with pride. I don't know why, but that's fantastic. Mm. 
So I was just going down the the 36th Street, talking to people, and I met Gail and Susan. Yeah. Told them who I was. Told them they had a gorgeous float. And they invited me to ride with That's them. That's really great. That's, awesome. That's great of them. So I was on there with Gail, Susan, John, Wes, Andrew, Quan with a Q. He made sure to tell me that it's Quan with a Q. Quan with a Q. Okay. And not the way that I would have sp- spelled it with the seven. So and then Ben was our guy on the lifeguard chair. He oh, was, he was the big draw. Yeah. He, now did he get elected to that position? Well, I mean, who who decides? Who's the hot guy on the lifeguard chair? Well, Gail and Susan were in charge of the float, and they brought Ben in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So So Fez says to me, like, early on, he goes, this is the hot guy that we have, right? So I'm like, oh, okay. You have to have one on your float. I'm not kidding, because now after I leave the staging area, I go to see Fez in the parade. (laughs) Okay, on the route? You can't move, by the way. I mean, it's It's so packed. It's gigantic. And they were going crazy for the guy in the thing. And I was, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, Hicks, if nothing in your life, you should have went to this oh, to see Fez God. on this float. I've known Fez for a long time. I've never seen him this happy wow. in my life. Nor the craziness of seeing somebody you know that everybody is cheering for. Simply for being gay, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. he hasn't done anything else, but but came out and packed six, seven, eight deep on the sidewalk for miles. People uh, just screaming, their shit. like you are so gay, you're so gay. Yeah. Like there were like some celebrities, like Cindy Lauper was running things. Chuck Schumer was there. The governor was there. Uh, Chuck Schumer actually had a thing like, uh, what do you call those things? Fez bullhorn. Uh, yeah, he had a, like a bullhorn, and he was going like, "I support gays, but I'm not gay myself. I just want to get that through." Right. Very supportive, but being in the parade doesn't necessarily make you gay. You couldn't hear him really because there were so many people screaming. But I've never seen a parade with less clothes. Oh. In my life. Just, just just fucking Speedos everywhere. Now, we did take some pictures of Fez in the staging area that we may or may not put up. Oh, I have to, I have to see these things. You should have done what I did. I should have went. No, Get I was just... very early. First of all, this is very funny. <laughs> Fez calls me at 9 o'clock in the morning. So I'm. it's a weekend, so I'm laying in bed. I'm like, hey, Fez. <laughs> I'm hearing the staging area, Ron. I go, oh, okay, buddy. Did you get on a float? He goes, well, the floats are here, but no people are yet. Uh, it doesn't start for three hours. Oh, my God. I got so, down there so early. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I want you to call me back in a couple hours. All right, buddy? <laughs> so Fez was on the float was waving on the float. Here's what you're not going to believe, Chris. Okay. Do you even remember at all that you and I gave him advice about what to wear? No, I don't. I didn't remember what, either. What did we... you don't? So I show up. I go, Fez, what the hell are you wearing? Hey, <laughs> he has a sailor's cap what? on. <laughs> Which, by the way... Complete lucky coincidence that we had a beach theme float that I got on. The he's wearing a sailor's cap. He's oddly wearing work boots. <laughs> and then because we told him to wear Doc Martens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you remember. <laughs> but why didn't you get Doc Martens? Well, I thought, when am I going to wear these again? Do I want to invest in Doc Martens? They're a Why? good they, shoe. The, what did the ones that you, you bought cost? They were 40 bucks. What are Doc Martens? I figured Doc Martens were like over 100 No. You would have been better off with it because you could have worn it again. Yeah, Doc Martens are a classy fucking product. Uh, so this is the weird thing. So he has work boots that he never wore before, so his feet were killing <laughs> him. And he's going, I, I'm like, I got to get on a float. Because I won't be able to walk that far. You never break in no. work boots like that. No, your feet are going to be fucked. Um, and then he was wearing cut-off shorts that 
it looked like he cut a brand new pair of shorts. <laughs> like normal, you know, that you will cut off shorts once the knees have yeah, ripped out, out of them. Yeah, and they're, years old. they're frayed at the bottom and you forgot. I had a little trouble creating my cutoffs. My first pair of jeans, I used an old pair of jeans and cut them off and cut too short and cut the crotch out of them and had made a tiny jean mini skirt. So I had to take you another have wore pair. That, dude. That's where you messed up. That would have been hot. Looking sexy. Uh, so the big uh, gay pride parade, uh, Fez was part of it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really fucking cool. But here's another thing, and we told you this a million times. you got to stop taking advice from me and Chris. Because I just showed up, and I'm like, why are you dressed so nutty? And he's like, it's the advice you guys gave. Fucking go, crazy talk. Advice? I didn't remember any of it. And I still don't remember telling him to wear a sailor cap. I remember Doc Martens for some reason. Doc Martens I do remember. Because we had an argument. And then that's the one piece of advice that he didn't. <laughs> You know, that's one thing that would have worked. Exactly. They're stylish. So when we, when the float started moving, and that takes a lot more balance than you're aware of, but when that float started moving and we turned on to Fifth Avenue into the crowd, it was just amazing. Like you said, people screaming for you just for being gay and being on a float. And they were going nuts. It was the most welcoming thing it was like here's people there are a lot of people i mean tens and tens of thousands of people that like gay people that i don't need to worry constantly about uh you know stoudemire what and what he tweets it was just so embracing it felt like a coronation it felt what do you mean by that like what because it felt like you felt like you were the queen yeah why because because i had just come out three months ago and this felt like the parade for the announcement okay oh All right. yeah it just felt like i announced this three months ago and now here's this here's my little personal celebration mm. and of course everyone was screaming for our lifeguard who was doing sexy dances in a little bathing suit on the lifeguard chair <laughs> nobody was cheering for you no, I, there was people that were waving to me and stuff, oh, but nice. I mean, all attention was on yeah. the hot guy, the shave down hot guy. Oh. I didn't shave down. That was one of my things. So That's I just okay. wanted to be as completely out there as possible. What do you mean by that? Well, I thought, you know, because I had the short shorts on and a tank top and a sailor's cap and work boots and... I'm like, do I, you know, and I had to ride the subway to the parade route, and I'm like, no, I'm just going like this. I'm not, like, you know, wearing any sort of jacket over this or sweatpants or anything. Today is my day, and I'm just going to be Fez in the gay parade. That's the weird thing. Like, his come out, like, here's the weird thing about Fez. In his, like, what's supposed to be his personal life, he actually plays a character. But here where he's supposed to be a character, he actually acts more like himself and talks about his personal stuff. If we could have if we could get the fun gay Fez that was in the parade, we'd all be happy every day. Hell yeah. Come on, this is like a float. I don't know if I want to put these pictures up and I'll tell you why. What is that? I I see these things. I feel like an I honestly for think this. his sailor cap. Yeah was so small that he looks like a White Castle employee. <laughs> and here's all I you thought. You could have said something then. I, You saw me go, do you really want to wear that? <laughs> and I actually said to myself, I go, there's like a half a million gay people here. I don't think that Fez is going to get laid today. I just, it had that feeling. No. But. This was the other weird thing. I felt like I was dropping my kid off at kindergarten because I would go like this. All right, he's talking to some other people. See him? That's good. He's making friends over there. Perfect. Did you get close to anything happening, Fuzz? Oh. Making a date? No, I didn't get any dates or anything, but I did meet gay people. I talked to gay people. I got information from them. Like what I kind of information? Yeah. You know, like emails. Like goes. Yeah. Did you say to yourself, this is my... 
chance to go for it or was it just celebrating was the fun thing for you it was just it was just the celebrating part i mean it was it was a chance i knew that i'm um, like look at all these gay people i get to talk to and to connect with them but i was i wasn't thinking I'd like getting you know bent over the float or anything oh god i just wanted to celebrate it was, it was a corporate float in the, so. in the, yeah in the staging area oh the staging area was very cool because you know they just shut down streets and then you have it to oh, yourself. Cool. So then every um, thing was like trying out whatever their float was going to be. So these Hell's Kitchen cowboys <laughs> were like doing dance steps while I was just like like practicing. Then Bill Cunningham, the famous photographer, comes by. He's taking pictures. I'm like, this is really weirdly new york fuck yeah and then there would be big cross dressers that would be dressed up almost like they were in the mummers parade that's fucking crazy shit man it was just they were just, they were just out on, on fucking shut down streets all these floors yeah we were on 36th street oh, it was wow. completely shut down they were just using every and it went like that all the way up into the 50s this is a gigantic parade so everything is stopped and fez was actually like i'm not even making this up the eighth or ninth float oh. out of, you know, 100 floats or something. That's fucking good placement. Yeah, the parade, the, the march was two hours. And then I was also felt good. I'd be like, well, at least he can rehydrate on because they had free water. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. We Delicious. had water. We had cocoa refresh. But the, the march is so long. I finished. It started at noon. I finished a little bit after two. I, I, I stayed and hung out in the West Village where the parade ends. Five o'clock, floats and groups are still marching oh, by. Yeah. You should have got, you should have some kind of shirt, like the mix, though, where it's like, kiss me, I'm gay. And try to, for some reason, try to get some of these dudes in. Yeah. So, you know, like, oh, that guy wants it. He has a shirt on. And, like, maybe you should shave down. And if it's up to me, you would get away from this poop deck pappy look that you seem to be sporting these days. Dan, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Fezzy, uh, since you had such a good time down at the uh, the parade, I was wondering you could come up to Toronto. We just kicked off Pride Week this week. Culminates this weekend with the biggest parade since 93. You know what? Fuck. First of all, fuck 93. 93 never happened. Second of all, Oh, God, I hearing about 93. But second of all, you could be the guy who just goes around and you're in gay parades wherever you go. Like, you could be, like, in the Guinness Bro, uh, Book of World Records for going more, to more gay parades than anyone else. You gotta get, to, you gotta get on that. The most float rides. Uh, oh. Um, like a mustache ride. Frank, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, I was wondering if you saw Jimmy down there because his new Twitter avatar has him in a dress with lipstick on, riding in a car. I thought he might have been going to the parade with Fez. Let's take a look at his uh, Twitter avatar. Oh, man. That's, uh... um, wouldn't that have been funny, though, if Jimmy was like... <laughs> it's your north. <laughs> waving, <laughs> waving from something. Uh, Maureen, you're on the Run of Fez show. I just want to say I saw Fez this morning on Channel 11. They showed a clip of the parade this morning, and I, I looked and I go, "Who's the guy?" In the, I go, "That looks like Fez." So you could see him. It was the vitamin water float. Yes, it was. And I, because I was looking, I'm like, "That looks like Fez from Ron and Fez." And I, and before when you said that you had the sailor hat on, I said, "That's him." So all right, we've got to get a hold of Channel 11 and get a uh, piece of that. I picks. Yeah, it was on about um, I would say about 8:15 this morning. All right, thanks so much for that, Maureen. You're welcome. Take care. Um, maybe we can end up with a uh, a chance to take a look at that. I would love it if it, if we did see Fez. I'm telling you, I don't think uh, in my life I was ever like laughing and smiling. And happy as when that thing came around, and I saw Fez just on the front of the float in his sailor cap, fucking shaking and moving his flag back and forth, and just having the time of his life. That's I had my awesome. gay pride flag waving. What 
I I am actually looking at some of this. I don't. I guess you could have set, seen it, Fez. But when Cuomo came by, they want bananas for him. Uh. He is the most beloved governor to the gay people. Yeah, he is just a hero. And of course, being, it being one year since he signed gay marriage into law. So that's why they love him so much? Yeah. Because yeah, that was his thing? Yep, they have, they have signs out there ready to go that just says, thank you, Governor Cuomo. And people just love him. Gays and straights love this man. He has an over 80% approval rating. Um, Let's go over here to... Andy, in Cleveland, you're a manifest. It's Fezzy the Sailor Man. It's Fezzy the Sailor Man. He's proud and he's hairy. He don't like blueberries. He's Fezzy the Sailor Man. Proud of you, buddy. All right. Uh, all right, we're going to throw out the pictures of Fez. Yes. Uh, this is just from the staging area so that you can get an idea of exactly what he looked like uh, as he was dressed for a party that day. And obviously everybody um, goes in different looks there. You know, we're always telling Fez what he has to do. There's so many different kinds of looks and attitudes uh, in the... uh, and the gay community, I didn't see anyone else dressed like Fez. Oh. Whatever is happening right now with the work boots, tank top cut off, and little sailor cap, Fez, of course, would be on the front of that wave. Fuck yeah, fuck it. That's him. All right, let's bring in some of the kids so that they can take a look at this, and we'll have a judgment of whether we think this is... Because this is your first time stepping out, Fez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is... How did you uh, feel in your in your look? You know, at first, I was a little self-conscious leaving home. Why? Well, I, wor- I worried that the shorts were too short. But then, as I'm walking down the sidewalk to the subway, I started to gain, like, this weird kind of strut and a little more confidence. All right, so your confidence came up. All right, uh, click on some of those so we can get the pictures big. There's Fez. (laughs) (laughs) Don't laugh at him because this is new to him. That was my best day. (laughs) I feel like today is the day after Christmas. Crap, we have to wait another 364 (laughs) for this again. Can I just get some sliders and some fries and a large Coke, please? All right, so there he is. This is, of course, just in the staging area, and I know that you were excited for him to do this. Do you think that the sailor cap works for him? Yeah. Work boots? Sure. Yep. And cut off shorts? Of course. Then why was Tix laughing? <laughs> He couldn't it's pull it crazy off. Looking. I, don't, I don't know. It's it's awesome. I mean, I will say it, it does. Look, it looks pretty crazy, but <laughs> it is. It, what, no, what are you supposed to dress it like? It's the day for you know? sure. It's like, definitely. Yeah. You went a little tighter on the uh, <laughs> shirt than I would have thought. All right, let's go take a look at some of the other shots. But that was done on purpose as well, huh? Yeah. Or was that as big as they went? No, that was shirts? that was the vitamin water sh- tank right. that I had. That's a very nice look for you, though, because it gave you the color that you were lacking. Yeah. And another thing I just want to point out, the way you carry the flag is very Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I, think you, I think you might want to stay away from... Good. That comparison. Good call. Yeah. yeah, outward, outward like that. Yeah. Boots are really what brings it together. I'll say. Now, those were killing his feet. How are they feeling today, Fuzz? Oh, they're just tore up. My ankles are bruised from being oh in them. Oh. Mm. I thought from holding your ankles. Yeah. <laughs> um, Liz in Chicago, you're on Fez. Hi, I wrote a little song for Fez. Oh, good. People are writing Fez songs today. Yeah. Okay. If you like vitamin water... And you're proud to be gay. You should have seen our Fred Watley riding in the parade. He was rocking a cool sailor hat and his brand new cutoff. We told him to get Doc Martin, but he wore work boots, of course. And that's all oh, I got. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Yay. 
Very, Thank very, you, very, very strong, Liz. Hurrah. Very good. Yay. All right, people are very proud of you. Now, there's a picture of you in front of the vitamin water float yep. with your f flag. And amazingly... What a gorgeous float, though, right? Yeah, it is. Well, it's a great pretty. float and very colorful. But the the wideness of the work boots is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> they, it and almost, they were tight. It almost looks like a hoof. <laughs> and did you did you cut a new pair of pants? Yes, I did. Okay, that's yeah, um, that's kind of ridiculous. Because <laughs> I screwed up the ones I was going to cut. Now, what are you wearing around your neck there? Uh, that is my uh, gay pride march beads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you threw beads to people. Beads. Uh, no, we um we did had... they show your balls if you throw? <laughs> yeah, show it. <laughs> well, me and Andrew. Andrew was another one of the guys on the the float, and Whoa. he's like, we had sunglasses oh. to hand out Whoa. and fans. Sunglass buddy. Yeah, get it. And Andrew <laughs> Andrew said to me, he leaned in and he said, Whoa. Don't give anything to any guy who's not willing to take his shirt off. Oh jeez. <laughs> Did you? Oh no, I I would tell people, let you know Let's see it. Lose the shirt. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And Andrew sounds Now like a real were user. there times when everything just got crazy and people were jumping on and off the float and it's just Madness. Yeah, there was one point where <laughs> the Delta Airlines people were marching behind us. They didn't uh, have a float, but they had a big dance routine with all their people. And all my vitamin water people jumped off the float at one point to dance with the Delta people. And, of course, we had the Diet Coke people with us, and they were dancing. And I said, am I supposed to get off the float? And Gail, my friend who got me on it, she goes, Honey, no, you won't be able to get back on if it starts moving. So, oh, wow. so you were left oh. on the float while everybody else danced? Everyone got off the float and danced, but I thought, All right, here's my opportunity. I got prime float location now. Mm. And I just took over the whole float. Hey, dancing, just dancing, <laughs> dancing up on the float. What was song were you dancing to? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. Some sort of gay techno great song. <laughs> great there song. was some gay techno song when I'm there. And I'm like, this song is nuts. Because it says something about a fucking hand job, right? <laughs> but I'm like, a fucking hand job? Who even writes songs about this? But then I found out it was, get your fucking hands up. But oh, I thought it was like, get a fucking hand job. I'm like, yeah. And that is, like, if gay people start to hear music, they just start, everyone's bouncing, you know? I think this is a... They're like job. children. Let me hear if this is a fucking hand job song. Because there's so many of them now. Where my hand job's at. Yeah, the floats, they just start bouncing. Yeah. Mm. We were all eating ecstasy and just having the day of our life. <laughs> Fuck. Like, people must have been high as fuck during this fucking <laughs> parade. Everything was just eating. Fuck. I'm not even kidding you. I mean, it was mass people. It was because I was like, well, I'm going to walk alone with Fez's float for a while. No way. <laughs> I was you lucky enough to get a chance to see him <laughs> at all. It's like, hey! Welcome to New York, everybody! <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny just to see him on that float. I haven't laughed that hard in a long, long time. Um, let's go over here to Jeremy. Jeremy in Jersey, you're on my fest. Hey, Ronnie, I haven't seen the picture yet, but I'm guessing you look like a... Uh... Cracker jack off. Um, yeah, and there's a prize inside. <laughs> now, um, the picture is up on the iBag. You see Fez struggling to get on the uh, float there. Just put that flag down first. That's when I was going aboard. I'm looking at the same thing. Fez, we are uh, keeping an eye out. People are sending us the, um, the pics. Document and there's Fez Watley. No way! Yeah, uh, we'll put it up on the iBank. Um, just saw Fez Watley <laughs> on the local <laughs> New York news. That's awesome! Congratulations! Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's great! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Holy that's shit! That's right. funny. Um, 
Holy shit, that's funny. Let's go over here to uh, Sam. Sam, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, Ron. Uh, just want to say uh, I've been I'm looking down from the Canadian Shield here, and it's uh, been watching the American media with a mixture of wonderment and amazement for years. You could only build a show around uh, announcer going to a gay per- gay pride parade in America. You're doing a hell of a good job of it. Well, you wouldn't be able and to do I, that in Canada. I don't really think it would be news. Uh, oh, because everybody's so gay. Well, yeah. you got to understand, he just came out this yeah. year. Yeah, like, a seal didn't get clubbed, so I understand why it wouldn't be news. <laughs> Look, I, no, no, it's like if you have a buddy who gets laid a lot, and he came to you and said, "Hey, I picked up a chick last night." You wouldn't celebrate it. But if you had a lonely guy, buddy, who never went out with women, and then one night he has a date, everybody would be celebrating Hell yeah, but yeah. Yeah, dog, yeah. you get it in. You've got to yeah, understand yeah. something, whether it was because of society or just self-torture, Fez would not embrace this side of himself. And now, after all these many years, and we are, you know, I mean, he doesn't have much time left. Oh, yeah. All you got to do is look at this pictures of old Pappy walking down the street. <laughs> I mean, he looks like the oldest Civil War veteran <laughs> of the Civil War Navy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that Civil War battle? The monitor in the Merrimack? You look like you jumped off the Merrimack <laughs> after it got hit. <laughs> well, also, I'm going to also put out some advice to people. Sunscreen. Mm. Yeah, because, you gotta burn yeah. Oh, yeah. very, very pale. Oh, and no. now I I have my basically <laughs> oh, oh, shit. my bikini tan oh, lines. All right, we gotta added. take that picture to add. Uh go over next to Chris. Yeah. And oh. get that picture to add to your things of how you how you burnt yourself up. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Let me see, Fez. Turn this way. Oh, you burnt yourself to us. <laughs> From yeah. the strap of the beads. You have a bead line, too. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you do have a yeah. bead line. I wouldn't even notice that. Um, <laughs> let's go over here to Adam. Adam, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Fez, congrats, man. That sounds really awesome. I got to go back to the office now and see the pictures, because the way you described it sounds like a gay box of just melted crayons. There was... There is... It is a box of crayons. Oh, yeah. The gay... Oh, the color scheme yep. of bringing every single color into it. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, And just the crowd is a box of crayons, because there's just gays of... Every ethnic group there. Um, let's go over to uh, DJ Chuckle. You're on the Run of Fez show. Uh, it's DJ Chucky for, uh, for for that song. Tell Pepper to look up DJ Chucky and get your fucking hands up. And that'll be. That'll it's be called good. Gays Get Your Hands Up? No, no. No, it's by DJ Chucky. Oh, you Okay. By DJ Chucky. You're not DJ Chucky. Uh, oh, no, I am so not DJ Chucky. All right, no. so, um, Pep's looking for the song, and he may go to too many mainstream uh, sites well, to really you, get this. It's on XM. I mean, you guys play it on BPM all the time. Yeah, well, we're not always there. Maybe we can find it <laughs> in the Dillette. Good luck with that. All right, thanks. But I thought for sure it was get a fucking hand job. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, these dudes are just right out fucking center with it. Hardcore. Now, what you also don't know is there were a lot of stripper type lesbians wow. putting on their own great nice. shows. That's what's up. And I was yelling out, who wants to be in a three o'clock snack? Check it out. <laughs> three o'clock snack time. Let's go over here to John. John, you're on the fez. Hey, buddies. Good afternoon. Um, I wanted to comment on the picture of Fez in front of the vitamin water float. Are you sure he didn't get laid because he looks like he's got a little rug burn on his knees there? That's probably a lot of sunburn. Trust me, those knees were bare white, and it was the first time they had seen the sun in years. All right, some people are saying that uh, Fez is broken in the Internet. They're having trouble 
loading on to the Fez pictures. Everybody's going at the same time, but you will get opportunities to see this. And like I always say, get a fucking hand job. That's mm. my That's new the way. Live by. I'll put, yeah, it's my new way of putting yeah. it out there. I'm going to be able to deal with people. Hicks, what's your favorite picture of uh, Fez there? The one like, in front of the vitamin water is really good, but I like the second picture because you get to see the, the it's like a full profile shot. You know, you get yeah, to see the everything. fucking boots, <laughs> and you can tell that he didn't know that that picture was actually taking place. And he was <laughs> while we were standing there, he was trying out some of his dancing, hey. and I had to tell him, I'm like, yeah, that's good dancing. Because for Fez, a guy who doesn't like music, he will dance in a heartbeat, which is really just more of like almost like a little kid dancing thing. Okay. Like he dances, he dances to get a laugh, though. He wants you to laugh at the way he's dancing. There's no moving to the music. Right. <laughs> it's almost like, hey, look at all the funny things I could do with my body. God damn, that was some funny shit. <laughs> all right, we, we've got the pictures up. Did we get the video up yet? Trying to get that uploaded um, on the iBang as well. It's very, very tough because everybody's going to over to see the Fez pictures. And we're kind of breaking the internet here. Um, would you? Are you going to stay with the sailor cap thing? Is that going to be your gay look? I thought that was a, I thought that was a really cute look. And trust me, I tried a bunch of different hats. Mm-hmm. And the sailor cap was the one that I thought, all right, that just clicks. Right, okay. I tried, like, a little leather cap, like uh, Gay Vito had on in the Sopranos. See, I think that would be good for you. It just didn't like seem biker to fence. work. Yeah. All right, what else did you try? I also tried, like, a, like a straw cowboy hat. Oh, no, That, that, that could have worked. Why didn't that work? Yeah. I don't. It just it looked too sombrero-ish on me. Yeah, yeah, like I the like brim it. was too that. wide, the, the, yeah. wide. The wide with yeah. the brim. Yeah. Was, but yeah. this way you could put like mm -hmm. avocado dip in it or whatever. Mm. Put some chips True. out there and make mm. friends with people. And you'd have snacks all day. Yeah, and oh, snacks yeah. for others. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, would you like something? You just put your Good head down on their lap. Starter. You put your head on their lap, and while you're taking care of them, they can have like a nice <laughs> snack for themselves. <laughs> oh. Um. Here's uh, Jeff. Jeff, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, uh, Fez, I was wondering, do you know how good a friend you have there in Ronnie that he would come out and support you like he does? Do I will only say this. The only letdown that I felt is that Fez didn't say, why don't you hop on the float with me? Because I, I was then dying to see how crazy it would look from the street. <laughs> the problem was then I never would have gotten to see him on the float. Unless I would have went home and watched Pix 11. Um, <laughs> is this the song? I believe so. This is the song right, by let's, Chucky. Yeah, this is going to be our new fucking summer jam. Put your hands up. Yeah. They're in no hurry to start a fucking song in this culture. <laughs> Gotta wait for the beat to drop. I guess they let wait till everybody comes running from their seats now when they hear this part. For now, you're gonna have to jump in halfway. Put your hands up in the air. 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 This is retarded. It's like the fucking Nazis have come in. Here we go. Yeah. By the way, the volume that they play their music though. Blast your way. Yeah. yeah. My ears were just ringing by the time I got done. Just from the crowd screaming mm -hmm. and, and the music. Filled with cum. <laughs> Not that I saw. Sorry. Did everybody from the float get together and hang out afterwards? And We did it. We were in a float. 
we hung out for a little while, drinking some vitamin water, of course. Nice. So, but it was so packed in the West Village, there was no place to really go, so we just kind of hung out on the sidewalk and just kind of sat there. Yeah. <laughs> But that was great, too. Just hanging with the gays. Aww. My gays. Oh, nice. He's making friends. Uh, Charlie, you're on the Run of Fez show. What's going on, guys? Fezzy, next year, what you got to do is make sure you get a penis-shaped whistle. That'll finish the look. Do they have those, Fez? Yeah, I believe they have those. Our lifeguard had a whistle as part of his gimmick. Okay. So I didn't want to overstep any bounds. That guy was everything on that float. Oh, yeah. He I was mean, the he centerpiece. Was the holding it together. Yeah. Well, there are. He was the cock of the walk, so to speak. <laughs> Did you feel like you were in his court? Like it was his wedding and you were the ring bearer? Oh, yeah. Where I'm like, all right, people are screaming. Wow, they're really yeah. screaming for this lifeguard. <laughs> Did you try to, you know. You should have went down to your tidy whities and just got your shit out there. <laughs> um, Andrew, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie B. Uh, if Fez is looking for a good look in a hat, he should try the Roman War helmet. All right, hold on. Uh, th- oh, that's awful. All right, 19 seconds in exactly on this. We've got the video of Fez. This is Pix. Of course, he had no idea he was on this. And at 19 seconds in, you will see Fez Watley. On his float. Oh, there he is! Yeah. 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 I got a choice spot right yeah. in yeah. front. Yeah, yeah, Fez was... There. He stayed in that area the whole time. All right, take it back just a little bit so we can watch him now that you know where he is coming up. Uh, that's up on the iBang. If everybody wants to see Fez Watley in the gay pride parade, that is there just go. hysterical. He is. Steals the shot. Uh, thank you. To the woman who remember how she would have pointed that out and said that looks like Fez. It's crazy. It's stunning to me. Especially like and I'm like, well, he was wearing a sailor hat. Yeah, that's him. That's who I saw. So that was Fez. Fez. Yeah. You can't see yeah. You can see the leg of our lifeguard. That's how high up he was on the, the lifeguard tower. Above you all. Well look, yeah. now he didn't get on picks. Yep. Yeah. See? And you can see there was some of the chicks, you know, the lesbians doing stuff. <laughs> and you know I see now, we had vitamin water girls walking alongside right, the like, float, re- hydrating people, hydrating people, handing out sunglasses and fans. Oh, oh. see that's nice. So um, I go looking for Fez, and obviously I'm not allowed back out there. But I figured you know at least they could bring Fez to me or whatever. And I come in, I'm going, yeah, I'm looking for, and I'm explaining all this stuff. And I asked the gay guy about it. He goes like this. Oh, look, honey, you're going to need a lesbian with a clipboard. I have no idea where all this is. <laughs> so when you look for people that are running the actual thing, they call them lesbians with a clipboard oh because God. they're much, they're less flighty they didn't keep than the gay. Yeah. They're organized. Yeah. And the gays yeah. were just oiling themselves mm-hmm. down and dancing around a little bit. It's our lifeguard who's getting all the attention, mm. but it's those lesbians that are organizing. Um, Graham, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey, what's going on? I was just calling to say that DJ Chucky song sounds like it would be perfect to fuck somebody in the butt to and beat their cheeks like a uh, bongo drum. All right, that's an interesting idea. I think it's probably been used for that. Hi, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey there, Ron. You know, when a guy goes to a club, they say if he doesn't get laid, he's probably gay. Does the same apply to the gay pie parade? Um, I... I think that you could have got laid at that thing if you would have went around and asked. Uh-huh. If you would have just said, who wants to? I think it was a numbers game and you could have actually come out of it. Now, I will say this, because I'm only normally used to the St. Patrick's Day parade. I didn't see a lot of drinking go on there. It was much more of a celebration. Wow. Probably oh, ecstasy oh, and sh- poppers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's fucking and I did smell some skunk, but <laughs> not just constant drinking. Like people were maintaining their shit on the sides, like they weren't just like fucking. Yeah, nobody was hammering. punching each other or yeah. headbutting or what kind of parade is what this? What did you say yeah. about yeah. my Joyful. mom and standing with your dukes up like you're the Notre Dame <laughs> logo ready to fight? <laughs> Fighting and crime. Um All right, the uh there are a lot of people. Very, very excited about your pictures, Fez. This is probably the most positive thing 
that you've done in a while. I mean, yeah, you are going to get, you know, the definite Stanley Kubrick McDonald saying Jerry Garcia sucks dick. So just ignore that one. Totally. I can because I saw all the loving people right. mm -hmm. lining the streets. Uh, here's one from Echo Pirate that says, Get a fucking hand job, motherfuckers. Way to go, Fez. Uh, Harley Quincy says the SS suck and fuck, but ignore that. Yes, I will. <laughs> See, I uh, Del also... said, are th aren't these the same pictures from the homeless shopping spree? Ignore that, Fez. I'm ignoring. <laughs> Kev Gretz says, this is what a shipwreck from a G.I. Joe cartoon looks like. <laughs> Don't even pay attention to that. <laughs> Fez should be the 3 o'clock snack today. Hmm. Um, Look like a bag of Skittles. Yeah, here's hey, Sailor Jer... Yeah. Jurassic. All right, that's Jerk Store, uh, Sean, and then he also multiples. Every time he posts, it's multiples. Binary Dallas, the finest person we have. Awesome, he writes. Well, when I came out on the air, it was one thing that I really wanted to do by June was be on a this float was, in that parade. This was a gigantic goal of Fez's that he had. For a long, long time. Uh, and, and it came down to the it. wire. It was yeah. uh, 11th second of the 11th minute of the 11th hour. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean, you did have two hours to yourself. <laughs> um, Shrekalove says the outfit's really working. Um, which is great to hear, Fez. Thank you, Shreka. Not a lot of people uh, would go so far to lie to your face like that which I think is terrific um people want to know if you were twerking it oh yeah you had to have been doing a little twerking nice the twerking is kind of a mystery to you though right yeah that's I mean you really have to be able to hear the music mm. G baby says so fucking great I start to come a little that is that so is nice. nice. So nice. That is Aww. so nice of him. Um, <laughs> and then some of that come might be from seeing Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> G Baby has two ways of grading his uh, films now. It's What's that? awesome. Okay. And then if he doesn't like it, Excellent. So it's just <laughs> awesome and excellent. It's pretty positive. All it's just around. hard to judge yeah. when all his thumbs are always up. Yeah. Um, let's go over here to Ivan. Ivan, you're on the Run of Fest show. Ivan and Callie. Yes. Hey, if uh, you go on YouTube and go to the username uh, 646 P as in Tom and B as in Boy, go on the first video. It's the Gate Great Pride Parade uh, number one. At a minute, six and 56 seconds, you'll see Fez waving the flag on the float. All right, I want you to give out the name again so we can put it up on the iBank. All right, uh, the username is 646TB. 646TB. Uh, yeah, 646TB, and uh, it's on his first video on his page, and it's at uh, six minutes and 56 seconds on the first video. It's the Gay Pride NYC Parade number one. And you'll see Fez with the flag. All right, you Hicks is working the, on it right now. Do you have the time? Though. Hicks? Yeah, here's the Diet Coke thing. They were right in front of us. Here we go. Yeah, there's Fez. Yay! Oh, he's getting big back. <laughs> wow. That is a oh, large but, back. But we can back see back? the king dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Left hair is really going oh. at it. Yeah. Shit. Well, that was a fun. That, that was a very nice float we had, Fez. Wow. It was great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so you, much, Vitamin Water. By the way, uh, Hicks, send that over the um, the editor of the Interbank too, um, because uh, Fezzy, the the beauty of this is you never would have been able to do it on on your own. No. And all these great people, thanks to some of the great listeners, even the ones that didn't come across. That gave you the chance to keep meeting other people. So you should replug right now. Yeah, I just want to thank uh, Jeff and his dad, Jonathan, Tom, Peter from the Gay Men's Chorus, 
Uh, Vin, who hooked me up with Tish, who got me into the staging area. Thanks so much. And then all the Coca-Cola and vitamin water people who are fantastic. Wes from Atlanta and Gail and Susan, Quan with a Q, John and Ben and Andrew. Just thank you so much. Who's the salesperson from here who uh, works with them? I believe that's A-Rock. I want you to make sure you yeah. go to A-Rock and tell her that we should send a letter to these people because... You know, the, when these corporate people go out and they, you do this, it's to kind of get back to the community right. and get the brand out there. You can't do any better than this kind of stuff of when you do something nice for someone. I mean, th the reality of it is, here it is, it's the gay march. You have a guy who waited all these years before he came out and you made his dream come true. Absolutely. By putting you on that float. Something like that, you will be talking about this product now forever because they've done something personal for you like that. And yes, you see it as those people, but also this company. Yeah, it was. And like Wes from Atlanta, his one job is to do LGTB promotions for Coca Cola. I mean, that's I mean, that is a company that's reaching out to a gay market because they know it's appreciated. Right. But I'm also trying to say is it's one thing to reach out like that. But it's another thing when they make it personal, because obviously they didn't have to. They could have said, oh, please call us next year. You know, you wouldn't have held it against them or anything. You wouldn't have been mad at them. But to move things around and make a gay guy's actual dream come true. And I saw Fez that day. I've never seen him this happy in his life. And you could just tell, I mean, there's almost a big back smile in that large back picture. <laughs> sure. Yes. And I was that we were going down Fifth Avenue and we were like getting towards the Empire State Building. And I just, I look back at the people on the float. And I just thought, you know who would love this? was my dad. Mm -hmm. Gay stuff, no gay stuff. He would have loved being on that big gay float. Mm -hmm. And just dancing and being silly and loving it and having a good time with people. Being in the center of Fifth Avenue in New York City. He would have absolutely loved this. I just now... And, and I wish I could show him these pictures. I just realized now for the first time ever how different your dad is from my dad. Uh, I can't <laughs> ever remember. You know who would have loved to have been up here on the gay floor? Oh, my dad, my dad would He would have loved riding with me. <clears throat> he would have um, had the best time. Now, the uh, all right, we've got the new pictures up on the iBang where you basically get to see the whole float and... Fez, uh, you see his back, but the great picture point of this is that when you see the whole float, you can see the hot lifeguard dancing and how colorful <laughs> and fun the float was. Uh, you stayed on the front the whole time, huh? Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to. Uh, I, I, I had prime location there. Right. I prime real estate. I didn't want to give it up once I got front, uh, right. front left or front right. I'm sorry. I'm just it's noticing, Fez, that I think that your lifeguard looks a little bit like British Bulldog, but that might be just me. Oh, yeah, I could see that, yeah. Little kind of with some blonde highlights, <laughs> Oddly, little sun in. I don't know who took this video, but it looks like it was taken in the late 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost faded already. <laughs> like <laughs> It's a brooder film. Back in the 1950s, the gay parade started. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go over here to uh, Jeff in Missouri. You're on Fez. Hey, Ron. Congratulations, Fez. Thank you. Uh, just one one thing to help uh, you find your look. I think it'd be great if you had a little Fez fashion show where you dress up as every different character from the village people. Just well, through all was... the occupations. <laughs> Is there a problem of being gay and just dressing like yourself, or does, or is there some 
costuming that takes place. There has to be some costuming, especially if it's the Pride March. You don't want to go out there just looking like an idiot with no beads or glitter or all would, covered up. Would you have looked like an idiot like that? Like a oh, guy in a suit or yeah. I would just have, a pair of like, shirt? Like a moron. Yeah. If yeah. I showed up in khakis and a polo shirt yeah. to ride that float, I would yeah. have been humiliated. Fuck out of here. That. Boy, when I see these pictures, I just think of how much your mom would have disliked your dad and you up there. On that float. Well, Mother called last night just to <laughs> check in and asked me, what'd you do this weekend? And so I told her that I, wa I was in a gay pride march. I went down to the parade and I got on a float and I rode down Fifth <laughs> Avenue on the vital, vitamin Good water gay pride yeah. float. Good for you. Yeah, she wrapped up that phone conversation fairly quickly. Said these videos to her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Now who's getting in trouble? Me or you, Mom? Now who's the weird one? Well, see, here's the other thing I want to point out to Fed. Because you struggle with fitting in with yeah. other people. Yeah. So I want to point this out for the next time that we do the advice show. And I have, I've figured this out from being there. In the whole freaks and geeks aspect of life right you, you saw the tv show have you seen it before fez uh -huh. where you've got you know regular people and then you have freaks and then you have geeks hicks what did you fit in with i guess i was a freak i was guys getting fucking weird right. fucking high all the time now i also <laughs> freak here's the thing about fez in high school he probably would have fit in more geek theater guy you know good student he would have been the geek guy. But when you get down into the full gay festival, it's pure freak. There's nothing <laughs> yeah, geeky yeah. about it. No. It's pure freak. So he is the geek attempting to join the freak nation. Oh, and, shit. you know, when we see, like, when Fez comes on this show and he's angry politically about what some people said about gays or insulting the gay. These people don't give a shit that when that are in the parade, they are just partying, having fun. If you yell stuff at them, they might yell back at you, but they're not as concerned with it. I didn't feel like I could have said anything to those people that could have made them cry. I saw mm -hmm. one tiny, tiny group of protesters around, along the parade route, and it was a couple of rabbis. And their sign actually said, today man v marries man, tomorrow man marries giraffe, then man marries dog. And they had a giant oh. stuffed giraffe out there. And it just showed how ridiculous people who are against yeah, this but now are. That, that turned me around. Those rabbis have turned me around. But I, didn't I get it now. Man. And then I also didn't understand why the dog would come after the giraffe. Yes. Yeah. You Flawed would think logic. if we're going ha animal. Household uh, pet would come before zoo animal. Right. Way more accessible. Well, it's always are. the juice starting yeah. trouble, isn't it? It's odd. It's always the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Hard Rock Johnny. I love the second picture because in the background there's those dresses, those mannequins, and Fed is kind of posing just like one of those lady mannequins. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's really weird when you look at it. It's great. But, Fezzy, I couldn't be happier for you. You look so happy in your little sailor outfit. Thank you very much. It looks like it's... Like I was on leave. You. It reminds <laughs> me of... Uh, From the nut hut. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's a shore. <laughs> <laughs> it, was that your costume from the play you were in all those years ago? Uh, no, that was not my Ensign Pulver uniform, <laughs> which I could probably still fit in. Ooh, I, you should have worn that. And the you couldn't even fit in those bro uh, work boots. Yeah, those some heavy, thick legs. Those calves are gigantic. <laughs> Work uh, them out. Yeah, I'm looking up at the pictures. I don't know if this should be the look for you, Fizz. I just worry that it comes off a little cartoony. And the you can't have the the sailor cap and a gray beard and not get stuck with poop deck pappy. Yeah, that's you you're not even looking like Popeye. You're looking at his miss like his missing dad. 
<laughs> I can't <laughs> stop staring at that goddamn Tampa Bay Bucks thing on his arm. Well, so, too. One woman came up to me and touched my tattoo, one of my tattoos, and said, "What is that a symbol of?" Like I was going to have some sort of this is a gay organization. Right, it's like I fuck till I bleed. Yeah, and it was. <laughs> And it was my Tampa Bay Lightning tattoo from when they had won the Stanley Cup. Did you tell her or did you make something up? I made something up. I go, yeah, that's just call. something special. It's a Florida group of gays. <laughs> Didn't have a name for special it. Just sex. Florida group of gays. <laughs> Next year you could dye your beard they all have the GG. colors of the rainbow. Oh. That might be good. Rainbow beard. That would work. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's going to attract dudes. Rainbow right. Fez would be awesome. I would love. I think that would be a good look for you, Fezzy. You can just wave your face around instead of the flag. Yeah, just do it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. When's the Hard Rock going to put a gay float out there? In we Pride? are. We love all serve all. We are very. Uh, we we get involved every year. So yeah, I noticed that even Nazis you allow in. It's a Nazi weekend. Welcome, really. Hey, listen. Love all serve all. Maybe next year we'll do a float, and Fezzy, you could be like the president of the float. I would love that. Or, I get to be the lifeguard. What about the president? <laughs> yeah. We, <laughs> now, let's go back to the lifeguard dancing shot. And tell me the truth. Because Fez said it was a good looking guy. And I argued with Fez about that first. like, And I sounded like my mom. Well, you're just as good looking as that person. You know, my, my mom would always act like no one else was good outside of our family. But I honestly thought... Between Fez's big back and that obnoxious lifeguard, oh. I think Fez stands a shot. And they went crazy for him, huh? Oh, just insane. They were screaming for him. I think they like a throne. <laughs> well, he's like kind of pretty much hump fucking the air. Giant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's even a lot upper, of gyration. upper body gyration going on as well. Yep. <laughs> he's, he's, no virgin. So, yeah. he's no virgin, that one. <laughs> I'm a little disturbed by the picture of the bare chested. When I and by bear, you know. Oh, uh, with Fez. Well, that was just to show off his sunburn. <laughs> that one person, that one woman, looks like Paul O walking by. <laughs> I don't know why these pictures look like the Rose Bowl parade from 1957. How are they faded color? It's weird as hell. <laughs> it looks like the float time traveled. <sighs> All right, Jenny. It's a fucking All right, boys, see you. All right, start working on uh, the hard cock float for next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next year. Fez, you'll be involved. Awesome. Um, Jason, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, buddies, I'm looking at this second picture on the interior bang, and Fez's right leg looks like it's broken. Maybe a question for Dr. Steve. It looks kind of jacked up. What's What picture is that? His right leg? His right leg. Yeah, one where he's standing there looking straight on. Kind of concave. Right oh, because it swerves deep. like that? Riding a horse. Yeah, just starting to bow from his ass. That's yeah. all. <laughs> just from holding his ass up the whole time. I think time. it's just a big calf. Might be the shadowing, distorting. That's not image. a calf anymore. That's got to be a cow. <laughs> uh, we are uh, going to break here. Uh, the pictures will stay up on the entire bang under Gay Pride in New York. But one more time, Fizzy, we want to thank the guys at Vitamin Water for making your uh, dream come true. Thank you, everyone at Vitamin Water and Coca-Cola. Wes, Andrew, John, Quan, Susan, and Gail, who personally invited me on the float. Thank you so much. Very nice. Uh, we'll break. We'll be right back with probably some non-gay talk. It's the run